Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and this is my YouTube channel where I post my technically oriented videos full of super geeky stuff. So today I want to do a quick video about how you can go about setting your audio levels in Ubuntu. So if you're using Ubuntu Linux and you're, you know, doing streaming or voiceover work or really anything and you want to make sure that your levels are coming in good uh, but not too hot and by hot we generally mean that the levels are too high and you're going to get clipping so i just pulled this out from the internet uh, this is something that's worth remembering or printing or just putting on a sticky pad if you're doing a lot of streaming and whatever for the most part your ideal audio level is between minus 10 to minus 20 decibels your audio should peak around minus six decibels and never go above zero dB as your audio will distort or clip. Um, so basically in Ubuntu, uh, usually you have this program here, which is called uh, Paview Control. Now I'm using Ubuntu Linux, the latest LTS, and uh, it's there under sound and video, and you have an option called Pulse Audio Volume Control. Now you want to go into your input sources and uh, there you can see the microphones. Now, my best practice that I recommend is to mute whatever you're not using. So when I have my webcam connected, I have a webcam internal microphone. So I just mute that. And I'm also muting my audio interface. This is the Behringer Euphoria. Uh, it comes up as this audio codec. Uh, and this is the microphone you're listening to, which is the Q2U handheld mic. So as you can see, the levels out of the box, I think, come to zero dB, or maybe it's bass. I'm not really sure, but I always adjust these levels. And you can see my current setting is 74%, which is a minus uh, eight decibel offset. Now, the question that you might be asking is, well, how do we know what level to set? So basically, keep this open and play around with it and do recordings in Audacity. So if I'm just going to play this back, now you can't hear that because I don't have a loop, but basically I'm peaking at sort of minus six thereabouts. So that's kind of good. So I'm just going to record another sort of random bit of audio. Hello, I'm recording audio from my Samsung Q2U. And you want to be looking at the audio decibel meter here and seeing where you peak. So I can see that I'm peaking at about minus six dB. So that is good. But if I were to adjust this downwards, we're going to see the, the, uh, levels getting a lot lower and if I go upwards this is getting levels too high and we're clipping so I'm just going to go back to minus 74 and you know you don't have to be super super precise here but just basically get it to the point that you're getting good levels but not levels that are too high and are clipping and uh, this is my method I'm sure there's other ways I personally just play around and the good thing is if you're using the same microphone day in day out you don't have to do this process more than once and you might just might be a good idea to just take out a notepad and write down uh, what your levels are because it's going to differ for each microphone so when i use the at2020 i use a different uh, levels than when i'm doing the uh, this microphone so 75 percent is what works in this configuration but it's different for different microphones so just kind of keep a google doc or whatever of what levels you need to use that's basically it not super complicated but if you do this you'll make life much easier for yourself in post-production because you shouldn't have too much clipping or distorting to work around and it's always easier to top levels up than it is to try to fix clipped audio thanks for watching guys hope this was helpful until the next video